Hey everybody, today is Super Bowl Sunday, and it's a big deal. It's a big day, it's a lot of fun, a lot of partying going on, people anxious, excited. Some people are still groaning and moaning and refuse to watch the Super Bowl because of the antics that went on this year in the NFL with players refusing to stand for the national anthem and the NFL you know, refusing to run a veterans ad for the Super Bowl. But all that being said, the Super Bowl is still going to go on. It's the most watched event in TV, period, in the world. It'll be a great game, Patriots versus the Eagles, no doubt about it. And there's great spiritual lessons that can be learned from it. And what are the lessons? Because we need to persevere just like athletes in our faith, in our spiritual journey, in our walk. We need to finish the race, we need to fight the good fight, and we need to finish with our faith strong as it can be. That's what our quest is, that's what our goal is, and we don't have to do that alone, we can do that with each other. So I don't know where you're at on your spiritual journey, but I hope that you finish the race strong. If you're not in the race right now, you're just sitting on the sidelines, you're sitting on the bench, or maybe you're home watching the big game. You need to get in the game. You need to get in and participate in your spiritual journey. So do it. You know, be one of those Nike spiritualists and have a big swish on your head. Just do it. And just a little update news, Tom Brady, right after the game is over, in the days following, he's gonna be having a, a surgery on his hand. We know he's had a bad hand, but he's getting ready to have a six finger put on his hand. Do you know why? Because he needs that extra finger for six Super Bowl rings. Yes, that is my prediction. Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, they win their sixth Super Bowl together. And the final score, 31 to 27. But remember, my opinion means nothing. God bless you.